Hello and good day everybody. This is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia doing yet another video on the KFR 853R5H Reach Stacker. We want to thank our partners KCKRC for providing us with this model for this demo review and video. We also want to thank everyone those who have sent their emails with your questions, uh, please do let them, or please do, sorry, please do keep them coming in and we will try to answer your questions. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the radio, uh, the functionality, uh, some switches and knobs, what they do and how this machine is actually controlled. So the video, uh, the radio, uh, once you put it on, you must go into the fail safe mode by pulling the left stick down that puts the radio into the fail safe mode once that is done you have a red power switch that needs to go on once that goes on you will hear a beep from the machine confirming everything's okay and the speed controller is ready to function now you got two sets of joysticks you got the big ones up here and then you got small ones that have been modified by KCKRC to make this machine more user friendly and easy. You can set up the joysticks to whatever functions you wanted to. I have modified this machine to make it suit the way I would like to operate it. Um, so just, just feel free if you really want to make it, you want to change it. But some functions on this radio do replicate the real machine and we have requested the factory to actually replicate these settings so it's easier to control and that's what we have found but please feel free you don't have to stick to what we are showing in this video so the right joystick is the, the main boom up main boom down uh, the expansion or telescoping of the main boom out and in this one is a swivel of the whole spreader itself so when you move this joystick the whole spreader will actually rotate this one is for the traverse function, which actually traverses the whole spreader left to right. So that's what this particular joystick does. We have a little switch up here. When you flick it down, the spreader is now going to move in its angle by gravity. When you flick the switch up and you move this joystick up, the hydraulic rams will actually take control and the spreader will now be controlled hydraulically. So that is what the switch does. The little switch on the left hand side is actually used for locking the twist locks. Uh, when you flick it in, the twist lock locks. When you want to drop the container, flick it down and the container will, will drop off. The, red little, the little red switch up here is for starting and stopping the hydraulic pump. Without starting and stopping the hydraulic pump, you will have no steering. So you need hydraulics for the steering if you're going in for the upgraded model if you're going for the standard model it is controlled by servo so it's not a problem the upgraded version or the newer versions also have one more extra switch when you flick it away from you you can control the steering using a servo and using a dial up here i'm sure you can see there is a dial up here and this is used for the steering you flick it towards towards you and now you use the joystick which then uses the hydraulics to now steer there's a little switch up here you flick this switch one way keep it pressed that will bring it to the 40 foot container away from you is a 20 foot container or vice versa by reversing the servos so this is what the functionality of the radio is this is what the radio does these are the switches on the radio uh, we thought we would cover this in a separate video so everybody uh, can actually see what all the joystick switches, levers, knobs uh, does when you actually operate this particular machine. In the next video, we will actually start this machine and go with the functionality with the radio so you can physically see what the joystick is doing and what the how the machine responds to your actions when you move the levers or the switches uh, on the radio. So, as usual, thank you for watching the video. Please send us your emails and your comments via 
uh, please send us sorry please send your comments via email to info at csmi.com.au or visit the website which is www.csmi.com.au we would like to thank our partners for this machine kckrc and feel free to ask us questions or visit us on facebook thank you for watching and we will catch you in the next video once again it's kevin from construction scale model imports